We have a lot of natives here. We have a lot of newcomers. Ooh. So what better way to celebrate National Georgia Day than to play a game of knowledge? Ooh. Our fair state is chock full of wonderful facts, very unique history, and we're going to see just how well we know all of these regional interests. It's our latest edition of By Georgia, Georgia, I think you've, you've got it. Got it. Yes. <laughs> All right, here to Yay. help us play, mm -hmm. you have to know the rules here. We have Trent hunkered down somewhere he? oh, he's in, in a forest. remote location in the state. He's going to ask Kara and I a question. <laughs> We're going to use our trusty whiteboards to mark our answers and see who knows the state of Georgia better. Okay. Okay. Trent, my gosh, you look you are in a beautiful wow. spot. Where are oh, you? An incredible gracious. setting, CP. I'm in lovely, historic Savannah, Georgia, of course, oh. standing on this long, so, stunning path so lined lucky. with ancient live oaks draped in Spanish moss. Truly a sight to behold. Now, are you ready for this, CP? Uh, of course we are, Trent. We, we got our markers we go. ready. We've got our Go sit our on race. Forrest Gump's bench. Yeah, ah, come on. It's okay. come on, right Trent. there. We're going to jump right, right in with, of course, Georgia's rich music history. Now, of course, you know, it's R&B, rock and roll, country to folk. But there's one city in particular that's burst some of America's most influential and well-known musical artists. Which city did musical legends James Brown, the Allman Brothers, Otis Redding, and Little Richard get their start? It's on your screen there. Columbus, Macon, Valdosta, or Thomasville? I am going to guess B, Macon. B, and I was trying to make a musical note, but instead oh. that is a twirly cue. Twirly yeah, cue. You two are all about the melodies today. It is Macon. Here's a little fun fact. Yes. James Ooh. Brown, oh the goodness. godfather of soul, goodness. recorded a demo of the song, Please, 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 with a musical group called The Flames at WIBB in Macon. That demo led to him being signed to a contract, and the rest, as they say, is functified history. Okay, okay, we're moving we on to the Sorry. outdoors. Parks oh. are more than just a place for recreation and restoration. There's 49 of them here in our great state. Which Georgia park is one of the oldest state parks in the United States? Is it Crooked River, Amicalola Falls, Fort Yargo, or Indian Springs? Okay, I'm going to I'm go. going to go with one, two, three, D. D. Oh, wow. Indian, Indian Springs. Springs. You're right again, ah! tied up. <laughs> we do know stuff, Kara. Yes. This is amazing. You're really in it to win it, Indian Springs State Park has been used by generations of people for its flowing mineral water oh. that some claim to have homeopathic qualities. Oh. They've collected that spring water for, for that healing. Oh, nice. fantastic, okay. Trent. Thank you. You're I can't very wait welcome. to explore that. <laughs> Yes, Beautiful. please do this weekend. On to the political scene. Now we know Georgia plays a large role in national politics. What legislative ruling was Georgia the first state in the nation to enact? Was it a law that oh. prohibits the sale of alcohol after nine on Saturdays? A 60% tax credit to entertainment com companies? Did they lower the legal voting age from 21 to 18? Or did they allow elected officials to carry large sticks when debating. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I mean, I am going to gonna say, say they should B D the large stick. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed like a funny thing that they would do back in the day. That's fun, that's quirky, but no, oh. neither of you are correct. It's C, lowered the legal voting age. FDR was the first to minimize that, that military from 21 to 18 to, to recruit. So then the slogan, of course, became old enough to fight, old enough to vote, became a common slogan. And in 1943, Georgia became the first to lower it. Oh, okay, wow. thank you, Trent. Okay. I still like the, the picture of just waving sticks. Yes. Like, Sorry, you be quiet, Kara. Yeah, right. But You're also, wrong. weren't we the first state to give entertainment companies 60% tax breaks? Because does any other state do that? We're going to look into that because okay. that might be a present day law. Yes, okay. we'll let you know yeah, I get half a after the no. show. <laughs> We're going to stay with civics. Okay. The okay. legislative front, which Georgia law was not an actual law? Now, these are all very quirky oh. as well, so okay. narrow down which wasn't. Was whistling using a public bathroom in Winder, Georgia prohibited? <laughs> Can you carry an ice cream cone in your back pocket on Sundays? Is it against the law to keep a donkey in a bathtub? Or is Ackworth residence required by law to own a rake? <laughs> I'm going to go with just some good life advice on yeah. my answer. Don't carry an ice cream cone in your pocket. I'm going to say Practical. you all should own a rake. Yeah, so. It's <laughs> actually a whistling oh. while using a public bathroom was not an actual law, nor was it ever. Oh, was not. Oh, an, was okay, but I love when we're tied. Yes, sorry. Yes, good job, Kara. Okay, all right. Hi, yes. And thank you, Trent. <laughs> and now we hope that you have a little more knowledge about our fair mm. state.